Springfield Fire Rescue is training with their new vehicle stabilization gear. The equipment will be used to keep cars and trucks steady during extrication and rescue. As News 13's Bailey Nichols tells us, officials say these new tools will be a game changer in the field. At the Springfield Fire Station, firefighters are hooking on ratchet straps and busting car windows. The department purchased equipment to be used for vehicle stabilization. It's for, uh, mainly for the safety of the guys. Fire Chief Brian Eddins says they acquired stabilization struts, airbags, and cribbing. Well, actually, we got rained out yesterday, um, but so we'll be doing it today, Thursday, and Friday. But so far, it's going good. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to uh, go over, a lot of equipment to use, and so it's going to be some valuable training. The stabilization struts hold the car in place. Firefighters place the struts at an angle against the vehicle in the ground, and then they attach ratchet straps to the fire truck to hold it steady. The struts can withstand 42,000 pounds of pressure. It's lighter, it's faster, easier to use, it's more advanced, safer, so all around, yes. Cribbing and airbags are placed under the vehicle. They can slightly raise it and provide stability for a car or truck that's been flipped on its side or upside down. Have the car locked in, where it's not going to move in under about 20 seconds. The Springfield Fire Department purchased the eight stabilization struts and the five airbags for $52,000. Chief Eddins says this was a needed upgrade. We've been needing it for a while. Uh, the stuff that we had, we have now is outdated. A lot of us broke. Um, and this just this newer technology that we're getting to help us rescue people. In Springfield, Bailey Nichols, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Chief Eddins says after training concludes this Friday, they will be able to put the equipment to use.